So far we've touched on socialization and a little bit of puppy obedience. And remember the third part of our dog training is accentuating the dog's natural instincts. So we're going to work on bringing our dog's natural instincts out. We have a Labrador retriever here. So clearly he's supposed to want to retrieve. So we're going to try to bring our dog's natural instincts out. So when you're, when you're going to start doing your retrieving, um, you've got a little eight week old puppy. Their mouth is only so big. So you're going to have to find an object that they can easily pursue and pick up. There are several different objects that you can use uh, to get started. One of which is just a knotted up white sock. Uh, the critical thing is to get your dog in interested in pursuing this. And the best way to do it is just kind of wave it around and play keep away. Don't push the object into your dog's face, but wave it around and kind of play keep away until they start chasing it and let them grab it. Once they grab it, praise them. Don't take it right away out of their mouth. Good dog. Let them know it's what you want them to do. And once they're confidently taking it out of your hand, then you can start throwing it. Now, it's extremely important with puppies that we don't uh, establish any bad behaviors. We don't want to promote bad behaviors or bad habits. So we have our leash here, a strap collar, to ensure that our puppy can't run away or establish a bad habit with his retrieving. That's one way we can use our leash to bring him back, or in the house we can actually throw the retrieving object down a hallway, positioning ourselves in the open end of the hallway and blocking it, and throwing the bumper or sock down to the other end, the close end. That way when the puppy picks the object up, they have no option but to come back to you. You'll welcome them with open arms, uh, scoop the puppy up, praise them, let them know they've done good, then take the object. Let's talk about how many retrieves to do. The cardinal sin of retriever training is to bore our puppy when we're trying to get it excited about the game of retrieving. So, how do we make sure that the dog is excited when he finishes that exercise? Quit early. If he gives you one in the beginning, just accept that, praise him, and put the object away. Only when you're positive that he's gonna go for two or more should you add more retrieves. And we'll talk more about that once we start getting a little further in our puppy training.